In this tutorial video, we are going to make this bouncing ball animation. Uh, before we animating, uh, <coughs> let's set uh, the key to the location in scale, and then after turn oning the auto keying, uh, turn on the only active keying set. So now let's uh, add some keyframes. So to do that, go to frame number twenty eight in mind. So and then I'm going to. <coughs> Uh, click on the location and then I'm going to move it upwards and to one and then I'm going to add a new keyframe like uh, I want to copy duplicate this uh, keyframe and paste in a key zero uh, frame so to do that uh, sh press shift and D to duplicate and then uh, bring to a now we have uh, duplicate the key and then in the frame 14 uh, we are going to set a new key so bring to the let's see here now let's see now we have added a uh, basic keyframes now we are going to add uh, a <coughs> stretch and squash I mean now we're going to add a squash to the ball so in frame 14 we're going to the and click on the scales and then drag down at the level so now let's go to the top view uh, to scale in y axis and x axis so that it will look natural so back to the front view now let's uh, add some <coughs> uh, stretch in the ball in frame number 8 so let's uh, alt uh, press alt s to like <coughs> uh, undo all the scales and same as in frame number 2g alt s Alt S. So now let's see. So now it's pretty good. Now we are going to add a uh, stretch in frame number eight. So let's stretch a bit. And now let's copy the frame number eight and paste in frame number twenty. So Shift D to copy and then paste in twenty. Now it's look much better and now we are going to <coughs> uh, smooth the animation uh, to do that we are going to the graph editor so we don't want to right now uh, z scale y scale and x x scale and we don't need y scale and x scale because it doesn't have any animation so we are going to delete it so in the location uh, box you can box select or press uh, a to select all and then press pure key to zoom in <coughs> and now we are going to do some mm, like smoothing the animations to do that firstly select the individual centers and then select uh, these two uh, keyframes and then press S to scale and bring you can scale so that it will hold in this uh, year for a uh, certain period and now let's see how now it's pretty good and then we're going to do So in this area we're going to scale so that it will stick to the ground for a for a moment and then push up in the sky in the air. It's pretty good. <coughs> and now it's look good in 
location in animation so now let's uh <coughs> ease with uh scale uh first we now we don't need so that location so we are going to hide it and uh, unhide the z axis and z is scale in frame in frame 12 we are seeing that ball is sticking to the ground in frame 12 so we're going to go to frame number 11 and we're going to scale it a bit so now let's see yep it's good to go uh <coughs> you are seeing some curve so we don't need this so we're going to edit this so that it does not have any like easing movement so we're going to convert this into uh, handles into a uh, vector handle so to do that go to the key and then handle type vector so it's just right from here and grab the handle and bring up like this and Let's see. Need to be stick. Furthermore, we are going to take this one scale so. Now let's see from the other angle view, perspective view. Yep, it looks quite natural. And then now we can tweak a little bit on X scale and Y scale to do. So we're going to select this both the handle and one handle and then rotate like this much and like from this much and then we can uh, going to scale it a bit so that to look more natural in the animation now let's see in the front view yep now it's pretty good to go uh, so that's it for today's tutorial video and see you next time bye bye